Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the main striker today is Morata. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And the match is underway. Pedri. Sergio Busquets. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that. But, you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Favouring the short one. Koke. Firing it towards goal. Body on the line. Will he finish? Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Sané on to Werner Thomas Müller Germany in a position of menace Goretzka well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity On the ball, Morata. Pedri. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Morata. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Raum. Raum. 
Sergio Busquets. Carvajal. Koke. Here's Carvajal. Could cross it in here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. David Raum. On to Goretzka. Great effort to keep that one in play. They're really pressing their opponents. There now. A good and fair challenge. Jordi Alba. Good work from Germany to win it back. Must take the lead here. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Sané. On to Werner. And the penalty has been given here. And the referee will take his name as well. Yeah, it was a poor challenge. And the referee is absolutely right to take his name. This to make it 1-0. Can they put it away? Well, that's the end of that for now. Carvajal. Torres. Good use of advantage by the referee. Morata. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Werner. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Okay. Now Morata, he's in here. And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Müller. Moving it forward. But they dealt with the threat first. Müller. Must be. And denied by the keeper. Impressive.
Morata. Well, ball back with Germany now. So a half an hour remaining. Morata. Threaded through by Koke. And it didn't happen for them in attack. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Um, offside, unfortunately. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's oh, hang just... on, Stewart, it's a chance. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And a substitution in the offing. It's a short corner. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Royce. Here's Zane. On to Goretzka. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Morata! Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Unable to keep the ball. Kimi. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Pablo Sarabia. Intelligent threaded pass here. Goretzka. Well, he really read that brilliantly. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. This could finish it! The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Gundogan. 
It's a perfect challenge. Kimmich. And back to the keeper. And it's over now. A win for Spain. It has gone according to their master plan. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. And a standout performance, not for the first time, from Morata. He turned on the style yet again, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.